you seen him? Have you heard him? Chugging down the road, riding on his old steam roller. He's a famous steeple jack, and the old smoke stacks make his face go black. He's a fella from Bolton. Oh, Fred Dimner is not the man for a local lad, Fred Dimner. Gaining fame in doing what he likes to do. Hi folks, well, this is going to be a virtual tour of the Fred Dibner Heritage Centre. Even if you wanted to go down that road, because what he used to do, he used to go to the petrol station at the end here and do a 23 point turn and then come back this way. Um, now, if you can just picture Fred driving up and down this, this, uh, this pathway here um, with the steamroller, if he was doing a chimney drop and there was telegraph poles on the site, out came the chainsaw, he'd cut them down. And then he'd go to the site manager and say, uh, we're not wanting these now then, are we? Okay, the next uh, feature is this, uh, what we call the winch house. Um, Fred had the idea of making this look like a little, little Victorian house, but when we came, there was just the four corner posts, telegraph poles of course, and the roof and the engine. When the place was empty, people had been in, pinching all the brass and the pressure gauges off the engine. Uh, damn shame, but it's still in working condition and we are going to, you know, refurb it at some stage and put, you know, get the brass back on it and um, bring it back up to uh, um, you know, its former glory. When I saw this, uh, the footage of this, um, this advert, which we got on one of our DVDs by the way, and uh, what he did, he built the wood, he, he built the chimney in wood at first, then he bricked flat to the wood, so he got a nice flat finish, then but when he lit the boiler, the wood burnt, he's left with just a chimney. Fabulous. Um, and at the top, there's, there's um, a very large oversill that he, that he had to cast up there because it would have been too heavy to lift up. And when he finished it, uh, he had a, a topping out ceremony. Him and his missus sat on the top sipping champagne uh, and they got the local papers down taking pictures. Fabulous stuff. And when we told Health and Safety we were going to put tables and chairs in here, then they had a heart attack. They said, oh, oh, we don't think it'll take the weight. I used to have a five ton caravan on here. Okay, the garden. Right, next thing is um, the mine shaft. This is the Lister engine um, that Fred used to use for, um, well, all sorts really. And it, it is in, it does work, we've had it working. Um, under here, we've got the, uh, this is where Fred used to keep all his um, stuff with chopping out the bottom of the chimneys. But of course when we came, it was all been left here for years, it was rotted. So we got rid of it, we cleared it out. What we're doing, we're doing um, uh, a simulated uh, coal face, um, mining coal face. Um, and it's going to be linked to the headgear, with the bucket and the, and the headgear coming up and down. Um, the coal wagon over, here, over there will be moving up and uh, along the rail track that we put here. And we'll be able to run this engine. Now this is the engine that, we, uh, that I told you about before. This is the one that we found round the back um, in fact, it was round the back here, uh, and we dragged it out, all three and a half ton of it, on my shoulder. Just kidding. Okay, this is uh, where the famous arrow, arrow scene was shot, no pun intended. Um, and I'm going to get Alf to explain exactly what happened to you because he was present when it was done. Right, that's the arrow that we used doing the Robin Hood thing. We sent it in, they sent it back, they said we wanted in metric. So if nothing else, uh, we've made Fred's dream come true because this is what he wanted, a heritage centre. Fixing chimneys are making them sway 